Hello you guys, it is Monday. Welcome to the start of another week. It is not just a regular Monday, it is Christmas Eve and I am just so thankful to be home. So some of you guys might be thinking, what the heck, where were you for the last month? And hopefully by the time you're seeing this vlog, I have a video up about that. If not, you can kind of follow backwards in my Instagram and Facebook stories to see what was going on. But um, basically I had surgery and there were some complications and I wasn't able to put together a vlog for a while. But now I am back home. I am healing. I missed you guys, so I am back to vlogging. Right now, I've just been working on like sorting through all of the Christmas presents I've been ordering from the hospital to this house. We just got home last night. Basically, yesterday morning, they said that if my chest x-ray showed that my lung was fully inflated and that there was no more air trapped around it, that I would be allowed to go home. So, I had the x-ray. They said everything looked good and we just hopped in the car and hightailed it out of there and drove straight home to Boston all the way from Maryland. We got home pretty late and then we had to unpack all of our stuff from the car, which takes forever. We didn't get to bed until it's so late. And we're all tired, but we're so happy to be together. This is all I've been wishing for for the last month and it looked like it wasn't going to happen, but we made it happen. I'm definitely already kind of overdoing it though, so I have to be careful going through all those boxes and stuff like that. I know I need to stay in bed. I'm basically waiting on my nurse now. She, oh, Sammy. Hi, I missed you. I guess I've been asking about her. Her leg is doing much better. She's walking on it. Everything seems to be fine and I'm so happy. But anyway, my nurse is coming and she's going to be accessing my new port for the very first time. This is my new port. It sticks out a lot more than my old port did. But maybe that'll make it easier to access? I don't know. I chose not to have my port accessed at that hospital because it was at that hospital that I got sepsis from them accessing my port. And so, I didn't trust them. I trust my nurse here much more. Hopefully, this part works because then we can take the midline out of my arm. I insisted on coming home with the midline. A midline is like, it's a long IV, basically. It's not like a pick line or a port where it goes to your heart. But it's not just like a regular IV, it's in the middle. So it has tubing that goes into your vein that's much longer and it kind of protects the vein and they can give you certain meds that they wouldn't be able to give through regular IV or, you know, it's just more reliable, you know, you're not going to blow your midline, hopefully. So I insisted on coming home with the midline because I didn't want to have no vascular access whatsoever in case this port doesn't work. I'm really nervous. I, there's no reason it shouldn't. but. I've just had such a streak of bad luck <laughs> lately. Also, I didn't want to access it right away because it was really, really sore and bruised. Like, I can't really show you the pictures. I have pictures, but they're just, it's a little racy. Um, but like my chest was black and blue. And honestly, it's still really sore, but I think it's gonna be okay. Hey guys, it's a little bit later in the day now. We had a very successful port access for the very first time with my new port. It actually is a little bit better than my old port in some ways because it's a little bit bigger. It's more prominent, which isn't so great for aesthetics, but it's better for people accessing it. And it just all around, I think, was easier to access. Perfect blood return, everything was great. She pulled out my midline, don't have to deal with that anymore. I'm definitely noticing my stamina is really, really bad. I'm just getting like super, super winded and tired just walking around. And I have to keep reminding myself of what I've been through in the last month and that 
I really have just been walking back and forth to the bathroom from the hospital bed for the last month and I'm gonna be a little bit weak. I'm super bummed out because it's like, oh, we made it home for Christmas and I was hoping to spend a lot of the Christmas time with my family and then reality hit and I was like, oh yeah, I'm still recovering. So my parents are off to my grandparents' house to go spend Christmas Eve with our family and I unfortunately am not going to be able to make it today. I was really hoping to, but... <laughs> I just can't. I really just can't. So I'm just going to rest. I've been kind of taking turns with the brace, taking it off, putting it back on. I also found that just like lying in the back of the brace kind of helps. But, you know, when you get a new brace, you're not supposed to wear it for super long periods of time. You're supposed to kind of break it in. Obviously, yesterday I wore it for like 10 hours straight, so that wasn't a good way to start. Uh, you just don't want bruising and sores. You want your body to get used to it and have it not be something that it fights. But I've just been doing that and I've been going through all of these packages. I did all of my Christmas shopping online, like down to the stocking stuffers. And now I just have a million different things and so many of you guys reached out and sent gifts as well. It's unbelievable how sweet you guys are so I'm kind of now just opening packages and trying to figure out is this something for me or is this something that I ordered for someone else that I need to get wrapped tonight the reality is I'm probably just going to put them back in their Amazon boxes and write people's names on them because I just I, I am unable to wrap at this point although it's nice because some of you guys um, you ordered like the Amazon gifts with gift wrapping and Amazon has the nicest gift wrapping. They come in like these drawstring bags. So I've just been repurposing a lot of drawstring bags today. I don't really believe in wrapping paper anyway. As you guys might know, I think last year I told you I wrap all of my gifts that have to be gift wrapped in the brown paper that comes as like the packing material in my medical supplies each month. I just, I don't believe in going out and buying paper that you're going to throw away. That's just what I'm up to today. I'm so happy to be home. Okay, so they sent me like a different saline setup than what I'm used to. Uh, we found the tubing and we found the bags and it looks like the tubing will still connect to the pump but it's got all of these anti-siphon devices that i'm not used to using and i have to like attach something i don't know um so i'm reading the instructions trying to figure this all out usually they are nice and they do this all for me but this time i gotta figure it out on my own which it's kind of a scary thing having just had sepsis like two weeks ago, but it looks like it's going to be fairly straightforward. I think I can do this. Looks like I have managed to sufficiently prime the tubing, get it all set up. I don't see any air. I'm kind of curious if any of you guys or your hospitals use these. They're called site scrubs and they look like this. We just call them hub scrubs or scrub hubs. And these are used in place of the alcohol pads when you're sterilizing your lines and stuff like that. So you take the back off and then you stick the hub in and then you just kind of scrub it for, I think they said like six to 10 times, but I am super paranoid right now. And so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of an extra scrub. But my neurosurgeon is trying to phase these into the hospital. They seem to have a better reputation against infection than just using like a plain alcohol swab. Obviously you have to um, handle the alcohol swab. Ooh, I'm not used to having a port on my right side. If you've never had like a central line or a port, like you can feel the stuff going in or you can taste it or this one was kind of cold so I definitely felt it. But you know, I was just curious if any of you guys use these 
scrub hub things and also if your um, supply company uh, supplies them because I haven't really fought that battle yet with my supply company but I'm guessing that they're not really gonna want to supply them and that they're gonna just say alcohol swapping is enough <sighs> thank god I have a port again you yeah, basically. <laughs> oh my gosh, she has like the millennial haircut. My sissy eating for the first time in, what, three years? This is literally all I've been dreaming about for so long. Oh, has it been three years or four years? Three years. Sitting with you on the couch, watching the Grinch with the Christmas tree and pajamas. Eating. This is... I've been wanting to eat out of one of these mugs. For like two years since mom got them. <laughs> Cute little outfit. <laughs> Your leg looks so weird. <laughs> it was like the weird. Good morning, you guys. I am just waking up. Merry, Merry Christmas to you guys. I can't believe it. We made it. And it feels so good to be home for Christmas. I just, my heart is with you guys. If you're not able to be at home or with family or you don't have supportive people in your life to spend the day with. I hope that maybe I can be that person through my vlogs. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but um, know that somebody out there does care and I wish I could be with all of you guys, but I'm excited. So we had a few little feeding tube blips during the night. It kind of just like leaked all over me a couple times, which is super fun. I was going to be wearing like a cute little onesie. My sister and I were going to match. But now I am wearing my llama Christmas pajamas. Or as I call them, my palamas. I'm going to head out and see who's awake and what the plan is for the day. Right now I'm wearing this like hard chair back, back brace without like the cervical part. And it seems to be okay, so I'm gonna be like going back and forth in between the two, I think. That way I don't get too sore, because braces just make you sore. And my dad is gonna try to make some alterations to that other brace to make it a little bit more comfortable in the armpit region. I definitely overdid it a lot yesterday. I wanted to get all the presents together and just, there's so much I wanted to do. I got less than half of it done and I still overdid it, but that's okay. That's what Christmas is for, right? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And a happy we wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hello, Vlog family. Hello. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We got a lot of gifts for our family and a lot of them got opened up because I was trying to figure out which boxes were for who, so. Huge type out it's, it's not, it's... Oh my gosh. Are what are they? Oh, man. Oh. I might get a little laugh out of it at first. Okay, that sounds good. Ow, paper cut. <laughs> what is it? Baby? 
There's a knife. Say, is this a diaper pail? <laughs> oh, oh, baby, that's so smart. <laughs> so, what is that? Your uh, what? Is that, that why your pail? trash barrel disappeared? It's so. In your bedroom? It's so it. It's airtight. My trash can go in and not come out. Sammy can't go through my trash and like take all the splash boxes. Oh. You want to throw this away, yeah, just put it okay. in there, and then you just... And it's not heavy either, I was worried about it. Oh my gosh, best gift ever. <laughs> I want one! <laughs> to win the best gift of the year. Another family gift from a viewer. From Cindy. I started opening it yesterday. She has and it in quotations, chronicles of a broken person. That's a yeah, so definitely go follow her. Relatable. I started opening it yesterday, but she said that there was gifts for all of us, and so yeah, I figured I'd save it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I think that's the one for all of us. This looks platy. She wrote in her card Aww. that they have a script inside of them from a hymnal. This hope too. <laughs> I love these. These? These are like the Aww. best ornaments we've ever had. I'll have to open mine. Oh, Look so pretty. Look at the beautiful pretty. hooks on the top. Go ahead, Laura. Dad's already like an expert kalimba player over there. I knew you'd be good at that. He's had it for a Oh, Sammy, come here. Oh, show us your new outfit. Oh my gosh, okay. Did any of you guys, you'll have to tell me in the comments, read these books when you were a kid, Mrs. Piggle Wiggle. Because Lauren and I were obsessed with these when we were a kid. My mom would read them to us. And we were so mad she gave them away. So she bought us the whole collection of them. I miss my Bob's books. Oh Shout out if gosh. any of you guys learned how to read from Bob's books. <laughs> So beautiful. I know. Here's the it's really yummy. Oh my too. goodness, and it's gluten free. Mm -hmm. I know that. Our that little like Christmas elf. Oh. Sammy, do you have a wrapping paper?
paper stuck to your face. A lot of this stuff. <laughs> I'm not sticking my hand down there, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Betty's thing for my Christmas and birthday present because making a bed is something that I can't do with my fused spine and it's something that I'll probably never be able to do. I just can't really do the motions. So basically this fits on like a fitted sheet and then you unzip the sides and it has like a sheet and a blanket built in. And then when you have to go and make the bed, you just zip it all back up and it looks all fancy. That is what they say, at least. So we're gonna see how that goes. I think this would be really awesome for a lot of people with disabilities if it works like it says it will. Which I see no it's reason why it wouldn't. Yeah. Okay, now theoretically, I should just be able to flip it over, sit down. Zip up that side, zip up this side, up this bar here. Oh my goodness, we just had a lovely Christmas morning. I am like just beyond thankful. That we got to do that that was you know i was really starting to think that wasn't gonna happen and we made it happen i do have to say though once again it's still kind of disappointing how little energy i have my parents are once again off to my other grandparents today to have a christmas celebration with them i really want to be there right now and instead i am hooking up feeds hooking up IVs and lying down because I'm so wiped out just from sitting up for a while and I'm even getting winded just vlogging. <laughs> I know how lucky I am. It's just that I'm, I feel like I'm especially aware of it this year as my grandparents are getting older and my grandfather and my grandmother, they've both had kind of rough years so it's been especially on my mind to make more time with them, but I can only do what I can do. And I right now need to lie down and rest and maybe take a nap and run all my things. And then maybe I can get up out of bed and go over for a little while later on. I am just so glad for what I do have and what I have been given and what I was able to do. I was able to enjoy my favorite part of Christmas, which is everybody's favorite part of Christmas. The special time when you wake up in the morning and everything's under the tree and... <sighs> Definitely a memory I'll hold on to for a long time. But now, I go to bed in my brand new Betty's bed. This thing is honestly so stinking cool. Like, you have no idea. This is gonna actually change my life. Well guys, I put on clothes, which was a feat in itself. <laughs> it looks like I'm gonna be heading over to my aunt's house where everybody is gathering. I don't think I'm gonna last very long. Probably like a half hour. Oh, jeez. Got all my little pumps in my backpack here, but I can't lift it, so I have to wait until someone comes home and can help me to the bathroom in the car. I think that I'm gonna wear the black back brace and try to like hide it underneath my sweater rather than going for the white one as the white one is really, it's starting to cut off circulation in my shoulders. It's really bruising the heck out of me, but you know, it's more important to me that 
I'm not losing circulation. <laughs> I'm gonna try to rough it with the black one. Try to hide it under the sweater. I usually don't make a huge effort to hide medical stuff because I don't feel like that's my job. But in this situation, especially like my grandmother's not super, super with it and she worries about me and stuff like that. So I think if I showed up in the full white one right now, yeah, I would be more comfortable and maybe I could stay a little bit longer. But I think that maybe if I'm a little bit more low key, things will just be a little bit more joyful. And that's really sad to say, but it's the truth. And I'm here to tell the truth. Plus, I don't think I can stay long anyway. There are gonna be smokers in the house and I don't know what my lungs are going to do. Like they've been uncollapsed for like mm, three days and I have no idea how they're going to react to being around smoke. My stamina is not even good enough for me to honestly be up and out for very long anyway. So I don't think that the white brace would really buy me a whole lot more time. Let's just say this is definitely not my best day. I don't think I even know where my makeup is and I haven't taken a shower in probably over a month. And I'm leaning on an ivy pole so I don't fall over. But I'm gonna make Christmas happen. Shh. Life at the party over here. Guys, I made it. I survived. I. Pretty much just sat on their couch and did exactly what I would have done here, but I was social and I think it meant a lot to them that I was able to make it. So, and it meant a lot to me too. I mean, we just made this huge drive and I made such a big deal about wanting to be with family for Christmas. It would have been so sad to have to miss out on everything and just stay in bed the entire time so it's super late and i'm super tired i'm going to bed so but guess what it's my birthday listen to this alexa sing happy birthday okay let's do this one two three happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday happy birthday <laughs> what more could I want? This thing is gonna make my life pretty darn easy. It's my birthday! Oh my God, we are gonna play Mario Party and I'm so stinking excited. This is all I wanted for my birthday. I didn't want like to have a bunch of people over. I'm still feeling not fantastic. And so I just wanted to keep it low key. So I got my friend Lexa, my sister, my cousin Taylor, we're just hanging out. My dad is bringing me my saline. Hello. Thank you very much. Just gonna have a low key night, play Mario Party. I bought my sister a Switch for her birthday. Basically, selfishly, so that we could play Mario Party. But at the time, it didn't even come out yet. So it finally came out, and now we have it. But I'm so excited. They have no idea what we're doing. And Taylor is already killing it. <laughs> I stink at this, but it's really fun. Oh, yes, that's what you Woo! Get. I mean, you were destined to win it. It was the potato no. challenge. <laughs> okay, it's happy birthday time. First, <laughs> Christina, quick, quick, quick before midnight. Yeah, I mean, happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Christina. Happy birthday to you. Okay, is it midnight? Yes. Okay. Right. Happy birthday Thanks. to you. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Are you serious? Happy birthday, dear <laughs> Taylor. Oh. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> to <laughs> you. How old are you now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey. She goes to do it. Just a 
sip. Ooh. Oh, you took a big oh. sip. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just take a little sip. How oh, was wow. it? Yeah, I did. Oops. <laughs> See, look. Happy birthday, Taylor! This is our year. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be food number two, fresh organic carrots. Okay guys, I'm really excited about this. Um, people have been asking me, probably since the second that my tube was placed, what the first food that I wanted to try eating again would be. And for some reason, it was always just I wanted carrots. And when I brought it up to the speech therapist last week, she said, that's actually a really good place to start. I think you can get a good puree out of that. And it's actually pretty mast cell friendly. And so since I have been tolerating the rice cereal, we decided to go ahead with it. I'm, not, I'm like nervous and excited. So let's try it. It's been quite a long time since I've had carrots. Enough salt? <laughs> Definitely enough salt. Once a potsy, always a potsy. It's really good. Feels like it's going down, Will? Yeah, I mean, it takes a few swallows. There's definitely like, there's a lot of pieces. Like with the rice cereal and with this, it's not totally smooth. Mm -hmm. And so for me, for my body, my therapist was saying that some of it can sometimes slip under that little flap, that epiglottis, which is supposed to keep food out because we're kind of floppy. It tends to get stuck. But she said that on this study, unlike my old study, after a few swallows, I was kind of able to clear those pieces and she wasn't really just super worried about me aspirating or inhaling it. So, I was cleared to have this. And this is really good. They were explaining to me that sometimes when it's been a really long time since you've had any food, your taste buds, they almost get less sensitive so they want you to start out with foods that have a stronger flavor or extra salt um, because it's they, they're out of practice Interesting. and so you kind of don't like the blender things just don't taste like anything which is kind of true of the rice but not really of the carrots so okay. so go ahead pay attention to swallowing yes, enjoy it and I'll check with you guys later What's that whistle thingy? It's like, it's probably super extra, but <laughs> like, I don't breathe well a lot of the time. And in order to get like a full breath, I really have to focus. So you take like a really deep breath and then this helps you to blow more slowly to help calm your body. So you just put it in your room. Keep doing that. Make sure you're focusing on taking deep breaths and exhaling slowly. I hope I heard you over, Dolly. That's all right. Hello, you guys, and happy Friday. Guess where we're headed? Woohoo, PT! For the first time in about six weeks. I'm so excited. I'm finally cleared to go back to PT. We're home. Get to start. Well, I don't know if I get to start moving, but at least maybe Trish can help me with my shoulder pain or something. I'm not actually sure which parts of my body we're allowed to treat right now, but I just know that I'm gonna feel a whole lot better leaving. Right now, I'm actually really struggling with my jaw. I think it's because of a lot of tension. As you can see, I've lowered the neck panel here on this brace, which you totally couldn't even tell I was wearing, right? Because I'm covering it up. I've got my hat covering up the headpiece, or my, uh, what do they call these? Like a not even like a bun hat it's just like a ear warmer anyway 
I kind of <laughs> lowered this piece because I thought that was maybe what was making my jaw hurt, but it seems to just be just tension, all of these muscles. So when I have my mouth closed and relaxed, everything's pretty good, but as soon as I start talking or moving my jaw, I'm actually losing hearing in my left ear. It's kind of like when you get water in your ear or like when you're on an airplane and your ears pop. Last time I had this problem, um, my jaw doctor said it was because the bone in my jaw was pushing backwards against the nerve. So I guess we'll find out. So at the beginning of this year, 2018, we made a big goal list, but one of the biggest was that I was going to learn how to waltz as part of my physical therapy. And you guys know I'm big on goals. It's the 28th of the month. <laughs> We've got a few days left. I'm obviously not quite in the greatest shape, but you're going to give this a try. Learned a lot this year. Learned that I'm not actually that great at dancing, but still going to give it a try. And I thought we'd share it with you. Happy Sunday. Welcome to the end of the week. This week has been a pretty insane week for me. And yes, as you can see, I am back in the body brace. So this brace is the brace that was made for me down in Maryland and it was wonderful. It got me home. I've been wearing it off and on since I got home, but I was in a ton of pain in this brace and that is because it was cut too high up in like the armpit and chest area usually you would have multiple fittings for a brace like this but we were trying to get the heck out of there so as soon as we got the brace and found that it was reasonable and it could get me home we went home luckily i have a wonderful wonderful father who's very handy and has lots of tools and he was able to shave off quite a bit underneath my arms and around my chest but keeping with the structural integrity of the brace um, here's a little hole for the feeding tube. I have a hole here for the port, which is not accessed right now. It's so weird to not have it accessed or bandaged or anything. This is the first time I've had like no dressings on in quite a while. Um, I have the chest tube site as well as my old port site and the new port site. I had the midline dressing, which is gone now. I had the dressing on my back which is gone so i'm actually going to go take like my first shower in a month so now i'll be wearing this brace quite a bit more often you can also see the uh chin piece is not very supportive right now because 
when I sit back or lie down, it does go into place. Not as easy as my old brace to adjust. You have to take out a wrench and everything like that. And I find myself in this position quite a bit more than I find myself in this position. And this way I can talk when I'm sitting up. Plus, I really didn't have anything done to my cervical, so I don't really need this support all that much. This support is much more important. And I have to say, the head strap is actually really, really, really integral to this brace. And actually, I feel like it, it does a lot of the immobilization. And I wish it didn't. It won't stop getting stuck in my hair. It's all Velcro back there. So I'm going to be wearing a lot of hats this winter just to cover up this strap. Not even for vanity purposes, but because I am tired of pulling my hair out of the Velcro every two seconds. But yeah, I'll be in this brace for a while. Hopefully the bone stimulator will go through with our insurance soon. My surgeon ordered a bone stimulator device for me to wear to help my fusions take hold. And the company called and we're like, yeah, we don't cover it for thoracic fusions. We cover it for cervical fusions and we cover it for lumbar fusions. And we're like, great. But then I looked at my operative report and he operated all the way down to L2. So I did have lumbar surgery. We're gonna resubmit it to the insurance and see if that is enough to get it to go through. It's still ridiculous that they won't give it for a thoracic fusion because what's the difference, right? But it is what it is. Anyway, my arm is getting very tired and I still have a shower to take. So I'm gonna say goodbye for the week. And thank you guys so much for everybody who sent so many cards and packages. Honestly, it's so sweet. I've been so overwhelmed that I'm not going to be able to open all of them on camera. I probably wouldn't even be able to thank all of you guys personally because all of the boxes were mixed in with the boxes that I had ordered for my family and we just had to quickly go through everything. You will probably see your things in later vlogs around my room or in use and I appreciate it so 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 much. You might have also noticed if you know me in person or if you are a Facebook friend of mine that my parents started a GoFundMe page. And I know that, you know, most people in this community don't really have a whole lot to spare. And we're pretty much all in the same boat, especially during this time of year. But if you guys do want to check out that GoFundMe page, I will link that down below. Um, my mom had to stop working a couple of years ago because my health was really, really bad and my sister's health was starting to go downhill. We're at appointments pretty much every day. The costs are piling up. Our house is not accessible and they wish to make our lives as easy and accessible as possible. So that is that. I will link that down below if you are interested. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. That would be really cool. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you hit the bell, you'll know exactly when I upload. And yeah, that's it. I guess I'll see you guys next week. Bye.